pictured here is a cardiac resynchronization device that is implanted in the chest of a patient with heart failure. The device is about the size of a cookie and generates electrical impulses that synchronize the heartbeat. The animation shows the top part of the device to which the wires are ultimately connected and, uh, after being inserted into the heart. The anatomical picture here shows the major blood vessels going into the heart. The blue vessels are the veins in which the first wire is being placed into the right ventricle, the lower chamber of the heart. The best location is chosen and the wire is secured in that location. After testing is done, a second wire is introduced into the right atrium of the heart, which is the top chamber seen in the animation. In order to target the best uh, part of the heart on the left side uh, for the resynchronization lead, a catheter is inserted in the coronary sinus vein, a balloon is inflated, and dye is injected. This dye shown on this x-ray image simulation shows the picture of all the blood vessels on the left side of the heart that can be potentially used to insert the resynchronization lead. After the proper location is chosen, a left ventricular lead is placed through that catheter, which is a small tube allowing position of the lead, and inserted into the target vein. The image here shows the lead being introduced into the distal or, most, or the furthest part of the vein that provides the best therapy. After this lead is positioned and secured, all the wires are attached to the generator, which provide resynchronization and improvement in heart failure symptoms.